Chapter 39 Son of man, prophesy against Gog. Give him this message from the Sovereign Lord. I am your enemy, O Gog, ruler of the nations of Meshach and Tubal. I will turn you and drive you toward the mountains of Israel, bringing you from the distant north. I will knock your weapons from your hands and leave you helpless. You and all your vast hordes will die on the mountains. I will give you as food to the vultures and wild animals. You will fall in the open fields, for I have spoken, says the Sovereign Lord. And I will rain down fire on Magog and on all your allies who live safely on the coasts. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Thus I will make known my holy name among my people of Israel. I will not let it be desecrated any more, and the nations too will know that I am the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. That day of judgment will come, says the Sovereign Lord. Everything will happen just as I have declared it. Then the people in the towns of Israel will go out and pick up your small and large shields, bows and arrows, javelins and spears, and they will use them for fuel. There will be enough to last them seven years. They will need nothing else for their fires. They won't need to cut wood from the fields or forests, for these weapons will give them all they need. They will take plunder from those who planned to plunder them, says the Sovereign Lord. And I will make a vast graveyard for Gog and his hordes in the valley of the travelers east of the Dead Sea. The path of those who travel there will be blocked by this burial ground, and they will change the name of the place to the valley of Gog's hordes. It will take seven months for the people of Israel to cleanse the land by burying the bodies. Everyone in Israel will help, for it will be a glorious victory for Israel when I demonstrate my glory on that day, says the Sovereign Lord. At the end of the seven months, special crews will be appointed to search the land for any skeletons and to bury them, so the land will be made clean again. Whenever some bones are found, a marker will be set up beside them so the burial crews will see them and take them to be buried in the valley of Gog's hordes. There will be a town there named Hamuna, which means horde, and so the land will finally be cleansed. And now, son of man, call all the birds and wild animals, says the Sovereign Lord. Say to them, gather together for my great sacrificial feast. Come from far and near to the mountains of Israel, and there eat the flesh and drink the blood. Eat the flesh of mighty men and drink the blood of princes, as though they were rams, lambs, goats, and fat young bulls of Bashan. Gorge yourselves with flesh until you are glutted. Drink blood until you are drunk. This is the sacrificial feast I have prepared for you. Feast at my banquet table. Feast on horses, riders, and valiant warriors, says the Sovereign Lord. Thus I will demonstrate my glory among the nations. Everyone will see the punishment I have inflicted on them and the power I have demonstrated. And from that time on, the people of Israel will know that I am the Lord their God. The nations will then know why Israel was sent away to exile. It was punishment for sin, for they acted in treachery against their God. Therefore I turned my back on them and let their enemies destroy them. I turned my face away and punished them in proportion to the vileness of their sins. So now the Sovereign Lord says, I will end the captivity of my people. I will have mercy on Israel, for I am jealous for my holy reputation. They will accept responsibility for their past shame and treachery against me after they come home to live in peace and safety in their own land. And then no one will bother them or make them afraid. When I bring them home from the lands of their enemies, my holiness will be displayed to the nations. Then my people will know that I am the Lord their God, responsible for sending them away to exile and responsible for bringing them home. I will leave none of my people behind, and I will never again turn my back on them, for I will pour out my Spirit upon them, says the Sovereign Lord.